Mr. Speaker, a question more about substance than style. The official opposition leader and I agree on something which is significant. The Prime Minister is not responsible for the mistake, but he is responsible for fixing it. He is head of state. It's his responsibility. So does the Prime Minister intend to officially apologize on behalf of Canada and unfortunately still on behalf of Quebec? Does he intend to apologize to all those who suffered as a result of the dramatic and serious event which took place in this place? The Honourable Government House Leader. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I thank my colleague for his question. The Speaker already apologized for the decision that he made. It was a shameful decision for all of us as members and for all Canadians. It was important that he take responsibility for his actions and decisions. Everyone in this House called for his resignation. He did so, and that was the honourable choice. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Belle Chambly. After six questions, it's hard to believe that the government house leader hasn't yet understood that the responsibility of the prime minister and the responsibility of the house are not one and the same. The prime minister needs to assume his responsibilities as head of state as a head of government. So he needs to apologize to the Jewish community in Quebec, in Canada, and around the world. He needs to apologize to all parliamentarians and to all Canadians. And he must specifically apologize to President Zelensky because this event made him target of Russian propaganda. The Honourable Government House Leader. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As I said yesterday, I am a Canadian of Jewish origin. I am the descendant of a Holocaust survivor. This incident hurt me personally, as it hurt all members of this House and all Canadians. The incident also hurt President Zelensky. The Speaker of the House apologized and took responsibility for his decision, which was shameful and painful for us all. He did the responsible thing by resigning.